Hello, this is MechTech Mike here with a kind of final installment in terms of dealing with the VFD and grounding issue. I wanted to walk through um, the big question on everyone's mind, which is uh, what happens if I don't ground the shield? Um, what kind of interference does that represent, say, inside an electrical cabinet such as this? Uh, what I have set up here is I have the lathe up and running at a moderate speed of like just 600 RPMs. Um, and I position an oscilloscope which measuring a waveform coming directly off the shield wire of the VFD cable. It's going into the probe here. The probe is set for a 10x. Okay, and you can see the waveform there. I'm at uh, 5 volts per division, but it's times 10. So it's a pretty sizable signal, about 150 volt peak to peak. And you say, oh my god, well, you got to keep in mind, there's very high impedance in there, there's not a whole lot of energy behind that. But that is the potential on a signal that's connected directly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is remove that, and instead, I'm now going to move my probe just to the outside of the VFD jacket, okay? And I'm gonna dial down to my signal here, and make sure we're zeroed, turn it on, adjust the trigger a little bit, and there's our waveform again, okay? Now we're at 0.2 volts per division. Um, actually, let's go back to 1x there. Okay, 0.2 volts per division, okay? And that's coming in, I measured previously, about 0.32 volts peak to peak there. Okay, so that is right outside the VFD jacket. Now, what's a real major concern is, what about all those signal cables that it gets run through, at least a short distance, alongside the VFD cable? So here I put my probe right on the outside of the plastic jacket that contains all the signal cables for the drives, and uh, it's a smaller signal now, and then just the trigger there, and we're down to uh, 20 millivolts per division, and this is coming in at about really 10 millivolts-ish, maybe 20 millivolts if you really get, uh, get there, okay, and then as a final check, Take the probe out here, bring it up close to the acorn. Um, here I have to wind down thing and zero it out a little bit. Sorry for the book, I have to do this with two hands. So there we are, the remaining signal as picked up by the probe next to the acorn. Um, really, it's pretty much a flat bar, just noise. You see the little spikes there. That spike is about uh, uh, 10 millivolts, um, uh, really high frequency, uh, not much going on there. So really, as far as the acorn is concerned, there's not seen much interference whatsoever. So in the video, I just wanted to show what the effects are. I kind of recorded this beforehand uh, from some independent measurements here. So again, the shield ground measuring a pretty whopping 150 volt peak to peak. Um, outside the VFD jacket, 0.32. Near the signal cables is 0.01, and near the acorn it's also 0.1, but it's just for that really short duration spike. So, uh, just want to show what we're looking at here. Really the shield, as picking up the radiated emissions, is kind of converting it. Um, so it's really not it's pretty shutting down a lot of the uh, EMI radiating from the cable. And as long as you take care not to make the, cable, the VFD cable run uh, alongside parallel with the signal cables for too long of a distance, uh, you're pretty much okay. Okay, I've had no problem so far with this run. I've, ha I've taken the same strategy on my mill, which actually has about a five foot run of the VFD cable. Uh, in which signal cables are uh, have to go along with it for various reasons. Uh, and again, I have no, no interference problems. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, please send me your feedback. Bye-bye.